Welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on the offensive side of the ball looking at the Detroit Lions playbook. We got a comment a couple videos back asking if we had anything out of Detroit. So we looked around and you know we had to do five wide eventually. So in Detroit actually has a ton of five wide in it. So we figured let's go to empty bunch open. I know we usually don't do bunch. Uh, typically, you know, it's a meta kind of formation, but I feel you're five wide. That's, you know, a little bit different anyway. So the first play we're going to look at is speed, dig, and these are downfield. This is going to be a downfield passing attack. Uh, obviously, it kind of has to be. It doesn't have to be with, with, you know, you need to have a little bit of everything, but you expect to have these big passes, you know, be going five wide here. So for this one here, speed, dig, in my, and, you know, I have all four of these in the audibles. We're going to drag RB, you know, he's going to kind of be our safe route, and then I'm going to put Y on a... Uh, on a corner route here and i actually subbed in all receivers here i was i was doing a little bit of a experimentation so i don't actually have sam laporta on the field right now uh, you know I was, I was messing around with that but it doesn't matter exactly you know where you have the, all these guys you know in the formation you know put your best players in in the best spots but for this first play here speed dig this is how we're going to set it up uh, they're actually gonna get, I mean that's I mean that's very good that St. Brown route that is the reason why we why I was you know drawn to this play here it's just so good it gets to such a good area in the field and you know we'll kind of set this up again here and then even on the left side of the field with Raymond and then Montgomery the running back out there you're still going to be running you know Montgomery he's a running back you're just going to run him on a clear out route anyway you know hopefully you know taking that deep safety that deep, or that deep corner you know with him and then freeing him Raymond so hopefully that's the idea over there but st brown is the idea here and you can just kind of see i mean you can force feed this route like it's one of those routes where like he, it, he just gets to a tender spot in almost every cover it seems like cover two cover three cover four it doesn't matter he gets over those zones he gets in between you know the the yellow zones and then the deep blues he, he he's i don't know it's just a very good route speed dig and then you kind of have answers for everything here i don't know what's going on on the left side of the field so i mean i'm, I'm gonna think something is going to be open over there uh we are correct. He still catches it too. He still catches it. That was really funky. But, you know, sometimes with these weird formations in five wide, especially, you know, mixing a bunch as well, you know, you, you get that sometimes. Speed, I mean, again, though, here, here I mean, uh, Amon Ra is going to attack the middle of the field. Those two high safeties, of course, yeah, that's that's pretty good. Even though they go into they shift into a cover three, we're still able to complete that. So I just really want to highlight that play and bang the drum on that one. Absolutely love this play uh, out of five wide. Has a little bit of everything for you, you know, short stuff, setting up some stuff uh, scheme wise, and just having a, a broken route as well, I guess. Here, next one though, middle cross, and really I just like to leave this one stock. And really the the action we're going to be kind of running here is with Williams and Peoples Jones. We're gonna you know if it's man coverage, it's kind of our man beater. We're hoping we we're almost using a pick play without using a pick play and of course we're gonna have you know montgomery and raymond again we get a funky defense here because they're they're maybe man aligned there i'm not exactly sure what's going on uh or maybe it's auto i don't know what's going on here but regardless their alignment's funky we're looking at probably man coverage you know we see you know over people's jones st brown and Williams. we th see three guys lined up you know directly over them something and it's man coverage we'll just kind of show you what this looks like here we're assuming one of those guys gets open don't do that. There's probably going to be someone in the middle of the field. I don't know why I did that. I don't, before I even throw it again, because I'm, I'm an idiot. This is the one here. He goes over the top, right? The guy that was covering over Peoples Jones, he goes over the top because he kind of has to. A very easy completion. Pass lead it back to you. I don't know why. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Here, I think they're going to give us man coverage again, maybe, though. They don't, but we're going to hit this one very quickly. That's what I was trying to do the last time, but I, I, don't, I don't know what happened in my head. It was man, and I knew it was man. Okay, middle cross though, same thing. We're looking at um, we're looking at man here. You know, everybody has, you know, a guy kind of lined up right over top of him, thinking it's man coverage again. Let's run this again. He goes over the top, very easy completion against man coverage. Again, they can play hard flats. You know, there's stuff that they can do. But if they play hard flats, you know, and they play, you know, um, you know, they play aggressive, you know, towards the line of scrimmage. Hopefully, that's going to like here. Hopefully, they're only sending a couple guys, and they play zone here. You know eventually that's going to open up that down the field i know they picked it off there but again zone coverage down the field sometimes that does come open uh you know if they aren't sending pressure at you and whatnot and you know maybe if it isn't man coverage but again we'll try to run it one more time here even against zone you're able to get it off pretty quick and and get a completion i like this one as a quick hitter you know you can't you can't always throw the ball down the field even against like this double mug look i like this here i mean you see the corner blitz over there that was over that was over uh williams very easy completion right there to the flat. And just a really nice route, middle cross. Uh, pretty simple. See if we can't get zone here. We do finally get zone. 
can't quite get the completion. Uh, they actually did a pretty good job, you know, pinching down on that. But, you know, a little bit of a zone beater mixed in, you know, along with uh, a couple streaks over there to the left side of the field. If, you know, uh, maybe maybe Y here, catch cover three, something like that. Actually, perfect right there. You know, catch like cover three right there, catch him in the seam. You know, that's always kind of a good, uh, you know, nice way area to look for a completion as well. If I could speak, that also helps. I just want to jump in right here and remind you guys to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying. We're probably about halfway through the video right now. So if you made it this far, you're probably liking what you're seeing. Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Uh, hit the like button for me. Something like 90% of you guys are not subscribed that are watching these videos. So if we can go ahead and fix that, that would be fantastic. I don't want to interrupt the video too long here, so let's just kick it right back to it. Here, though, slot choice spot is going to be our third play, and you know we had to include a Z spot kind of play in here. We're going to streak B. Williams is going to be our clear out, trying to free up Brown. Um, you know, Peoples Jones pull guys down towards the line of scrimmage. And then we have Raymond on um, a choice route here, that slot guy. You can you can do whatever with him. If you don't like the choice route, maybe, you know, you don't feel comfortable. You just like knowing exactly what he's going to do, you know, when he's going to do. You can put him on a post. You can put him on... Uh, a corner route, you know, depending on here, I mean, he kind of middle of the field looks a little bit open. So I'll put him on a post route here, and I mean, he's going to be wide open. Probably could have read out the bunch over there as well, but everybody was kind of going towards the bunch, which is going to happen in your games as well. Like, you can imagine, let's just go to the replay real, real, real fast here. Uh, like, you can imagine, if I can get to him here, uh, that was weird. Being the middle linebacker, the their opponent, the opponent being the middle linebacker, you know, using that guy, and he just going towards the bunch right here. Of course, isn't it isn't you know very exaggerated here, but it was just enough to free up you know all of this space to the left. You know, he played a purple zone over here. Uh, you know, just enough, and you can imagine you know <laughs> the opponent, the 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 user over there paying a ton of attention towards you know towards your bunch over there. So. You know, it all plays into it. I, again, bunch is a very powerful formation. You know, it's it's very tough to stop because you know we don't have bunch checks. You can't just pass off coverage based on leverage and stuff like that. You just you spot drop to a zone and and you hope that your zone is where you know the route is running basically. So it it, it isn't an exact science in Madden, but you know it's a little bit tougher. But you know you can abuse that bunch in you know, on on the offense side. Here we'll kind of put them on. We'll put Raymond on out there. We'll try to actually read out here, you know, that. I mean, if he's going to leave that much room in the flat, you have to take that. Take, you know, 10 to 15 yards every time like that. But really, though, I'm going to hop into replay again. <laughs> really, the guy that we're trying to put in, into conflict here is this guy here. You know, he kind of ran with, you know, ran down the field a little bit more, leaving, you know, all of this field, all the green grass. So, obviously, we take that dump down. But this is the guy we're trying to put into into conflict here. He just kind of ran more with our corner route there. Uh, as opposed to playing the flat a little bit more. But slot choice slot, and again, you can absolutely let, uh, you know, Raymond on that slot here. You know, against man coverage, he breaks it, he, you know, he breaks it off depending on leverage, and then here he sits against zone. So if you know it's going to be zone coverage and you're li just looking for a quick hitter, I mean, you know, leave him on that little hitch route and he can be he can be a quick one for you. Here, you know, put him on a post. I see a lot of, a lot of room over the middle of the field. Linebacker kind of pinches it a little bit, still able to fit it in because it's a linebacker, not, not the best read there. Probably could have had like a corner route or something like that. But you can see all of the options that you have built in, ton of things you can do. I mean, heck, you can even put them on a drag. And, you know, if you wanted another just quick option across the field here, uh, I, was, I was trying to hit the corner round. I was trying to hit the corner round. But you can see all of the options that you have, you know, that really hit all kinds of, you know, middle of the field, corner routes, you know, short, deep stuff. Uh, you know, it's 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 a five life scheme. You kind of expect that out of, out of a passing scheme. You expect it all to be there, right? So dagger though is going to be the last one, and this is one I you can leave you can leave uh, just stock. You can just leave it base, whatever it is. Um, but the Raymond route, is, his drag route, he does stop. He sits against uh, zone coverage, and I don't like that. He he, I feel like he sits when he shouldn't sit. He keeps going when he doesn't keep going. So I just re drag him. So I know exactly what he's gonna do. He's gonna run a drag route, and here Peoples Jones is gonna be, uh, you know, the first route over the middle of the field. We're gonna try to hit. I mean, again, if they're gonna leave you that much room in the flat, which is gonna happen because you know people are just gonna. You hear about these two high shells and, you know, in, in real football and keeping the ball in front of you, you know, keeping it in front of you and making teams have these long drives. I mean, teams are, you know, it's going to happen in Madden, too. People are just going to play over the top. And, you know, if you take underneath, if you take the underneath stuff, you take the underneath stuff. But, you know, you have to you have to be willing to do that. You have to be willing to do that. Here, first guy across. You see the break. That's Donovan Peoples-Jones. So I wanted to put him there. Not a crazy route runner or anything like that. It's not, you know, it's not even like Sam Laporta and whatnot. 
not that route running from a tight end, but you get the idea. You know, a, a lesser of an overall player. Great break against man coverage. St. Brown still gets to a really nice spot. I mean, there it was against man coverage. I don't know why I did that. But he gets the uh, same thing we talked about, cover three, you know, on the other side, hitting those seam balls. Same kind of thing here. He gets to that really nice spot. See if we can't get cover three. We do, but, I mean, that's where I'm supposed to hit the JMO route there. I'm supposed to hit the, uh, or the uh, Williams route there. Not exactly sure. A little bit late maybe on there. Here, he's going to be wide open across the middle of the field. Had to be quicker with it, though. I, I knew I, I knew that was coming. That's the thing as well. Uh, in five wide, you're exposed that way. If they send six people at you, you're going to have a free rusher. So you need to have an answer for that. And, and, and maybe you can't run. You know, maybe you, like we're setting up this first play again. I mean, here we actually do have a drag. But maybe you can't run. You know, maybe you put Williams on on just something like this, the line of scrimmage. Because you see six guys, you know, coming at you here. We only have four. But, you know, maybe you need that quick pass in there. It can't You can't just be a robot and run, you know, these same four plays, same exact audibles. You have to kind of play to your opponent and play the game as well. So uh, that's the five wide scheme, though, out of this Lions playbook. Speed, dig, middle cross, slot, choice, spot, and dagger. Empty uh, what is this gun empty bunch open? I can read I can read I promise uh, But a good one out of Detroit and if you like the five wide stuff I would look in Detroit because I think um, including this one maybe three or four uh, total five wide uh, Different type of formations, you know to do different stuff, you know different different sets and stuff like that. So uh, nice playbook to look to you know, if you're looking for that kind of thing. But that is it out of this Detroit Lions playbook. Hope you like this one. Uh, come on back tomorrow. Probably have a defensive tip out tomorrow, defensive scheme. Uh, I don't, I'm not exactly sure. But we'll probably go on the defense side of the ball tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for this one. And, yeah, hope to catch you guys in the next one. Later.